three questions for you, two about APC and one about Nigeria in general. So since we've talked about Labour Party, we'll talk about APC. What is your assessment of your prospects now that the APC running mate, Ashima Jubala Tinubu, has chosen somebody from the Northeast in Senator Kashim Shatina? You're also from the Northeast, hence the question. Secondly, what is your view of a Muslim-Muslim ticket and its viability in a time such as this? And thirdly, the disunity that we find ourselves in as a nation. What are your thoughts on that? How did we get here as a country? And what will you do to heal these We will go to that two APC now. We go to that two APC. My fundamental disagreement with uh, ICYU since 2007 was on the issue of Muslim Muslim ticket. That was my fundamental disagreement and departure politically from Asiwaju. Remember, I came out out of PDP on the issue of Sony, and together with Asiwaju, we formed uh, ACN, and I was given a ticket in Lagos, and he insisted to be my running mate, and I said no. I'm not going to have a Muslim Muslim ticket. And because of that, he switched his support to the late Umar Yaradu. That was the parting uh, point. And of course, uh, it is also a fact that when Buhari emerged in 2015 in Lagos, I opposed a Muslim Muslim ticket. I opposed it. And my opposition actually reinforced the decision of President Buhari to pick you know, a Christian um, running need. So I have all along uh, opposed that. I don't believe in that. I don't believe it's right for a country, you know, uh, like Nigeria, a multi-ethnic, multi-religious country, uh, there should be uh, balancing of, you know, interests, whether religious or otherwise. And then what was your other point? your assessment of your prospects in the Northeast, because the APC running mate comes from the Northeast? Well, certainly my prospects are much higher. I think it's an unfair question to ask me, because I know that my prospects are much higher. I mean, if you know the composition of the Northeast, you have Borno and Yobe, these are essentially two country states. And then you have the other states, which are essentially the House of Fulani states. So even if people are going to vote on that basis, uh, I think uh, I have a more uh, favorable, you know, uh, distinct from the Northeast. Okay, I was going to ask you about something else, but let me start with uh, Ashwa Dubala Mechnabu, since you mentioned his name. Yes, in 2007, uh, the two of you were together in the uh, Ashwan Congress of Nigeria. Um, publicly, the two of you are friends, uh, so how do you feel running against uh, a man who is considered as your ally? Because people already say, well, there isn't much difference between the two of them. They are friends. They are like minds. So whoever wins uh, between the two of them is same of the same. Uh, but the question I actually wanted to ask is about Ruga and your opposition. What? Ruga, uh -huh. your opposition to anti-open grazing law. Uh, in some of the states or in all the states. In 2019, ahead of the election, you complain that this is a violation of the rights of the Alsa Fulani or headsmen uh, to live anywhere, to enjoy the freedom of movement. Now you want to unify the country. And that was a major issue ahead of the 2019 election. Have you had cause to change your position? Uh, first of all, this is a potential first of all <clears throat> uh, grazing or no grazing, is uh, is not a federal issue. It's a state original issue. I have more than 1,000 heads of cattle. I, they have never gone beyond Adamawa State. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, it is a regional or state issue. This is the, the, the facts of the case. So states are at liberty to take whatever measures in terms of law, either for or anti-grazing, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think the Federation should have anything to do with it. And, uh, and I believe that was even what used to happen, even in the first republic. 
Yes, in the First Republic, uh, there was a grazing uh, this in the northern region because we used to have grazing reserves there in, in the northern region. But then uh, the, the, the region became in, you know, split into states. And it is therefore the responsibility of the states. It's a, a concurrent issue even in our constitution. I don't think we should uh, uh, try to uh, bring about you know, uh, uh, either legislation or changes at the national level.